Hello, so I'm here today thanks to Dorks Music and today I'm going to be talking about all the different kinds of Van Doren clarinet reeds that you can get. Um, so there are loads and loads of different clarinet reed makers out there, um, but Van Doren are probably one of the most popular ones. Um, and I know in Dorks' own sales data, Van Doren reeds make up nearly 50% um, of all of their reed sales. Um, there are actually four main different varieties of reeds, the clarinet. Um, you've got the traditional reeds, which are the blue box reeds. You've got the V12s, which come in the silver boxes. You've got the V21s, um, which are in a kind of lighter blue box. Um, and then you've also got the 56 Brule Peak reeds as well. Um, so I'm lucky enough to be a Van Doren artist um, and I've played on Van Doren reeds for well over a decade um, but I've never really explored the whole range. I've always pretty much played the traditional blue box reeds. Um, so I'm quite interested to try out all the different ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you a little extract um, on all the different kinds of reeds there are. Um, then at the end I'll tell you what I think of them all um, and also I'll tell you a little bit about what Van Doren says about all their different kinds of reeds. Um, but it'd be really interesting to see if you can hear the differences, um, see if you agree with what I think and see if you agree with what Van Doren think as well. Um, so I'm going to start off um, as kind of our baseline with the Van Doren blue box. So these are the Van Doren traditional reeds. So now I've got the Van Doren V12s and these are the ones that come in the silver boxes. So now I've got one of the 56 Ruler Peak reads. And finally, I've got one of the V21 reeds.
So now you've heard all the different reads, um, I'll tell you a little bit about what Van Doren says about them, um, and then I'll also tell you what my thoughts are on them as well. Um, so if we start off with the traditional reads, um, these are kind of the ones um, that are the most commonly used. Students tend to use these ones, um, but a lot of professionals use them as well. Um, Van Doren say that these reads are superiority proven over the years and that they suit all styles of music. Um, and I'd say that's pretty fair. I love these reads, they've got a really, really good response to them um, and also a nice rich sound as well. If we move on to the V12s, um, so Van Doren say that the B flat clarinet V12 reeds are manufactured from cane tubes with the same diameter as cane used for alto saxophone reeds. Um, so what that means is they have a thicker heel and are cut on a longer palette with a slightly thicker tip than the traditional. Um, and the longer palette means more of the reed is vibrating, which results in a deeper, richer sound. Um, they say the thicker tip gives body to the attack and also increases the longevity of the reed. Um, so that's what Van Doren says about them. My personal thoughts playing them. Um, I do find that they come up a little bit harder um, than the traditional reeds, um, which is probably something that's kind of reflected by being cut from that slightly thicker cane. Um, the other thing I find is that I find they've got a slightly more reedy, a slightly woodier um, sound to them. Um, personally, I find that a little bit too much, but it very much depends on what setup you're playing, what style of music you're playing, um, and how you want your sound to be. Um, I do find because they're a little bit harder, they have that extra resistance, and I do think they have a lovely rich sound, um, but for me they're just a touch reedier um, than I'd like. I should say as well um, that all these different reeds will feel slightly different depending on what mouthpiece you're using, um, and Van Doren do recommend different reeds for different mouthpieces. Um, I've, I'm playing on a Van Doren BD5 mouthpiece. Um, it's actually one of Van Doren's newer mouthpieces. Um, I'd say if you haven't tried one of these, they're well worth checking out. Um, I've been playing on a B40 for years and years and tried this and was blown away and switched over straight away. Um, but on this BD5, um, it's quite a close mouthpiece, so I use quite hard reeds. So all the reeds I've been testing are strength three and a half reeds. Um, and with those, these V12s do feel that little bit more resistant than the traditionals. If we move on to the 56 Rouleau Peak reeds, um, so Van Doren say that these are designed from thicker cane with a heel taper very similar to German style reeds. Um, they say the 56 Rouleau Peak emits a rich, centered and extremely pure sound while providing maximum stability and quick response in all registers. Um, and I pretty much agree um, with everything they said there. Um, these Ruler Peak reeds um, are actually some of the reeds that Van Doren recommend for the BD5 mouthpiece. Um, and I hadn't tried them until very recently, but I do find they make a beautifully rich sound. I really, really like the sound of these reeds and they've got a good response like the traditional. Um, so for me, I find that these play very like the traditional reeds, but they've just got a slightly warmer, slightly richer sound. Um, and having played on traditional reeds for well over a decade, um, having tried these Ruler Peak reeds, I must say I'm seriously considering switching over um, to these Ruler Peaks. I'm certainly going to experiment with them a lot more. Um, now finally, moving on to the V21 reeds, um, now, Van Doren say that the V21 reed combines the shape of the 56 Ruler Peak reed um, with the profile of the V12 reed, um, and that that combination makes all registers of the, of the clarinet more accessible with warmth and a depth of sound. It will allow you to play with amazing presence and immediate response. Um, it says V21 is the perfect reed for performances that require the ability to handle large interval leaps efficiently with an even and rich tone. So that's um, what Van Doren say about them, and I think they are pretty much spot on saying it's between the Ruler Peak reeds and the V12s. You've kind of got a combination of the two, um, so it's got that lovely sound of the Ruler Peak um, and the warmth of them and the response of them, with a little bit of the readiness that you get from the V12. Um, so really, what I'd say is they're all great reeds. Um, I'd be perfectly happy playing on any of them at all. Um, but my favourite ones on my setup um, are the traditionals and the ruler peaks. Um, but kind of the takeaway message from this is go and try them all out for yourself, see what works on your setup. 
when you are trying them, it's worth trying more than one of each read. Try maybe two or three of each because there is some variation um, within boxes and from read to read. Um, with all the ones I've played today, I've tried a couple um, and then picked out my favourites. But I would say actually all the ones I tried were very consistent. Um, so anyway, that's what I think of the reads. That's what Mandoran think as well. Um, let us know in the comments if you agree. Let us know which ones you think sound best, if you can tell the difference at all, uh, which ones are your favourite ones to play on as well. Um, but yeah, takeaway message. We kind of spoiled the choice with all these different Van Doren reads. So go and try them out and see what works best for you.